In this video, we'll talk about emotional obstacles to having celiac disease. A diagnosis of celiac disease can seem overwhelming. It's perfectly okay to feel upset. Celiac disease is serious and it needs to be handled. You will undoubtedly feel shock at the diagnosis. Your first reaction may be denial. This can't be happening to you. All you can feel is a crushing frustration and anger at the unfairness of it all. These are perfectly normal reactions. There is no reason for you to deny your emotions. Feel whatever you need to feel. After all, this diagnosis will change a large part of your life. At some point, you need to reach acceptance. You've been feeling sick and miserable for so long. You want to feel better. This is your chance. So, it's up to you to become determined and deal with the situation. Make no mistake, this may not be easy, especially if the decision to go gluten-free isn't your own. Here is why celiac disease can be such a difficult diagnosis to accept. So many of our social interactions revolve around food. You have every right to wonder how this will change once you go gluten-free. Family and friends may not understand your situation. Perhaps some of them tell you to just get over yourself. You may be accused of having an eating disorder. It's just toast and scrambled eggs. Eat, for heaven's sake. This lack of support just makes a difficult situation harder. Knowing you'll need to give up some of your favorites can produce understandable anxiety. There is truth in the term comfort food. Certain foods do comfort us. After your diagnosis, you realize your options will be limited. You have certain favorite dishes that you may not be able to enjoy anymore. It can feel like losing a friend. You will need to make some changes in your life. Depending on how well you react to change, that, too, can bring on anxiety. You will have to follow new rules, and that isn't always easy. You used to be in control of your eating habits. Now you have to follow someone's rules. There is no known cure for celiac disease. All you can do is alleviate symptoms by changing your eating habits. Yes, celiac is something you'll have to live with forever. Everyone around you is munching on Oreo cookies and devouring hamburger buns. You feel alone, and isolated. A major problem for celiac sufferers is that they develop a gluten-free lifestyle, stick to it, and feel so much better after a while. That's when the rumbling in the brain can start. I'm fine now. I can have that slice of pizza or cookie. Grandma prepared this especially for me. I have to eat it. This can be one of the most difficult periods you'll have to deal with. You're so tempted just one slice. It's crucial to resist temptation. You're feeling better because you've eliminated gluten from your diet. Remember how miserable you felt before your new diet? Don't reverse the course. That will force you to start over. You're exactly where you want to be. Keep going. When you are tempted to cheat. Sometimes the urge to cheat, just a little bit, can be overwhelming. This is especially true when special occasions arise. So many of our holiday memories are tied to food. The problem is, there's no such thing as cheating a little when you have celiac disease. Even a minuscule amount of gluten can affect the immune system, so it's not a matter of just one bite. For someone with celiac disease, any bite is a bite too many. Even people who are only gluten sensitive can be severely affected by a small amount of it. Gluten may cause the gut to leak from the small intestine, which can cause toxins to spread into the body and cause inflammations. Consider seriously if mom's delicious stack of pancakes is worth this. This video is intended to help you make good choices. The most serious case of cheating is done by gluten sensitive people who don't show immediate negative symptoms. They may continue cheating, and the gut is being damaged, although they don't know until their autoimmune system is adversely affected. 
If you have been exposed to gluten, get a lab test before the damage caused becomes irreversible. Cravings can pop up at any time. They can be difficult to handle, but you are in control. Like an alcoholic, take it one day at a time. You may want that piece of cake more than life itself at this moment. Just get through the moment, walk away if possible, understand that the craving won't be as severe the next day. We repeat, handle cravings one day at a time and remain in control. You also need to understand what foods trigger your cravings. Is it going to mom's house and having her prepare all your childhood favorites? Is going out with friends for pizza too difficult to handle? If you can't avoid the triggers, you really can't avoid mom, learn to handle them. Talk to mom about celiac disease and how to prepare gluten-free options, or bring your own. Discover pizza parlors with gluten-free selections and convince your friends to go there. Remember, cheating is always a choice. Make good choices for yourself. Taking control of your emotions. Let's not fool ourselves. Knowing you are suffering from celiac disease can cause a case of the blues and depression. When you start feeling down, it's time to elevate your emotions instead of obsessing on food. The following are some ways to feel better and enjoy a higher quality of life. Depression can make you withdraw, but you need to reach out. Have at least one person you can talk to about what you are going through without worrying about judgments being made. This can be a parent, sibling, best friend, someone else who has celiac disease, or a professional. Just feeling understood can lift your spirits tremendously. Instead of withdrawing, become more involved with people. Reach out to someone who is going through a tough time. Find a worthwhile association where you can volunteer and make a difference. Everyone is dealing with something. Knowing that will make you feel less alone. While a pet won't replace other people, it can help you feel less alone. Discover a new hobby or interest to get your mind off food. Taking a class, joining a gym, Becoming involved in your community can be very energizing. Life has too much to offer to make it all about food. If certain people are unsupportive of your situation or perhaps actually accusing you of overreacting, consider whether these people should remain in your life. What exactly are they adding to it? Remove as much stress from your life as possible. Consider practicing meditation for half an hour daily just find a comfortable seat, close your eyes, and focus on your breath as you inhale and exhale. This will relax your mind and spirit. Nature seems to be the best medicine of all. If you live in a city, find a park and walk around, enjoying what nature has to offer. Take a walk during your lunch hour. If you live in the country, communing with nature is even easier. It is true that sunshine will boost your day. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.